show and tell time, boys and girls. Let's get into it. Good morning, Jen Kravasi, Jekyll Bates. It is, what is today? Today is Tuesday. Yep, it's Tuesday, April 21st, 2020. It is, um, it's nice outside today. One of those days where I wish I wasn't in the shop, but I'm in the shop. Here we are, and here we go. I'm going to start out with this little guy. It's just off camera. Decided that I wanted to do uh, sort of like a rock bass type deal or sculpin. Uh, very transparent. And all of these except for, I think, one piece today is going to be jerk baits. So these are the Dinger SP120s that he's got. Go check out dingerbaits.com. And these are hot off of the clearing rack. I've got a bunch of, you guys probably saw the video spray session setting up a two pattern run. These are how they came out. And that is how the eyes came out. I'm pretty stoked about how the eyes came out. Um, yeah, just like the rest of the bait. But that's fine. It's a walleye bait. Lots of three dimensional layering here. That sisal mesh wrap. I do have links below if you guys are interested in grabbing that mesh. Does wonders. Looks like clouds on that bait. And the other three for that. Second verse, same as the first. But walleye and smallmouth, tearing it up. These two are just kind of off camera, and I want to go ahead and talk about these for a second. So I do matches for color. I don't necessarily do specific pattern matches, especially when it comes to custom artists. I absolutely refuse. I will not do it. I've been saying that for years and years now, and I mean it. Um, if you want a pattern from another artist, get it from that artist. Um, we put a lot of time and effort into creativity and trying to make something unique for our customers. And um, yeah, so there. that's all I got to say about that. But this is a Rapala bluegill pattern that was requested on these Strike Kings. This is the J200. It's KVD jerkbait. It's got... Um, it's got two hooks and your line tie on the front. But uh, the thing, and I don't have the original Rapala. It was a picture that was sent to me. I can flash that now. Um, it's an image wrap. It's not, it's not even like a normal color match deal. So those are a little bit more difficult to get down as far as how to take care of matching those. And this is fairly close to the original colors in that bait. Um, the light doesn't portray well, maybe a little bit there. There's a ton of pearl in, in these baits, which is kind of portrayed in the Rapala version as well. Uh, these are very cool ear flaps. These are almost perfect because they're from Russ Allen. Um, it's about as close as perfect you can get. His bluegill stuff is out of this world, so go check out Russ Allen and Insane Custom Stencils. Um, very excited about how this turned out. Modestly okay with the pattern match, um, but as you can see, again, those are real difficult pattern matches to pull off. But I talked to my customer. He's super happy about it. So those are going to be going out to him today as well. Now we've got a bunch more of these dingers, and these are all for my walleye and smallmouth guys up in New York, and starting out with, I think these are two, yeah, these are the same. So this is a light yellow perch with a little bit of brown on the cheek, and no red was requested on this, just, just that plain, beautiful, creamy yellow, light yellow, great this time of year. This is that Arctic craw with the pink belly, the ice craw. And these are all these are all my stencils, hand cut, which is probably 75 to 80% of the work that I do is all uh, coming from stencils that I've cut myself. I don't have a cry cut or anything like that. It's just specifically on little pieces of reusable thin cardboard. Well, Don asked for a yellow craw. And I've done craws in different colors for him today. I know it's more than likely, knowing him, it's just going to be for the color. And he just said craw because he knows that I do them a lot. 
Uh, but I wanted to give him a little bit of something extra on this one. So I added in a little bit of stenciling in a dark gold just to kind of contrast the fluorescent yellow. Um, put a little bit of red around the eyes just to accentuate that and then gave him a red throat which is something that he asked for on that as well. And this is that KBS, that new formula. So I do like how that came out on this. Just a pop of color on the tail end of it. Just to give him a target to know where to hit. Similar with his uh, perch request. But I went ahead and he, out, he also asked for red center hooks on this. Because they're having a, a good bit of luck. And they, they'll go out and test what hooks are going to work best in whatever place they're fishing. But I also gave him a little bit of a bullseye to key in on this one particularly as well. And then just gave him a little bit more of a flush orange on the sides coming down off of that red on the face and then the uh, the matching on the back in that creature feature that's from anarchy stencils and then we got a whole bunch of these and these are all the same i'll just pull out two we've got a burnt sienna burnt orange throat Little, just a tiny bit of sky blue on these, just a little bit on the bottom end of that as well. And then all of these are the same too. We have one that's different for a different customer. We've got this For the Throne specialty line. And this is the Night King Pop. that's what I've got that's all the news that's fit to print today um, gonna be coming out with probably another quick tips uh, this afternoon or this evening I've got a couple of questions that you guys had that I thought that we could best cover it in uh, in a little quick tips video so it's easier to show than to tell sometimes and I love doing that for you guys I hope you're having a good morning evening afternoon whenever it is that you guys watch this video thanks for tuning in thanks for letting me show off my baits to you I hope I've been able to give you a few tips uh, along the way and stay tuned for the next one right here on Jekyll Productions. Cheers and happy casting.